Mr. Parker. Mr. Penis. No. <laughs> Hello, everyone. No. <laughs> Welcome to the latest episode of Echoes of the Forest, or uh, EOF. Makes me want to say EDF, and I hate it. I hate it because <laughs> I've I've been Not fucking. Uh, you're a monster, Edie Bear. I know what I've done. How dare you? Anyways, hello everyone. Today's date is like ah uh, fucking out five seventeen the two 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 two. So, uh, we 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 have the things. We have the stuff. We have the ma mariachi band. Wait, do, do we have enough for the mariachi band with uh, the budget? We uh we could we could uh, we couldn't get the mariachi like band. All we got was one song out of them, and but... they refused to play it. So I don't. I thought they were going to do, do it on the street. Refund? The... Wait, or... did we have to refund it? Yeah. Damn it! After all that time yeah. and effort to these them to say yes, even though they didn't know what a, a Twitch was, they kept saying a switch. What? What? what I also did... gave them the switch. I. But I. What? Why? Yeah. What, I had why? to pay him somehow. But you didn't. Didn't I? Yes! If they weren't gonna do a service, we don't hurt like pay and purchase them. <laughs> That's an entirely different service. I mean, listen, everything can be that service if you have enough money. On the black market, maybe. How about that one? That's the only way that you purchase someone. Uh, God damn Sometimes it. you get a kidney, a liver, a couple of eyes, the whole person. What? Wait, what, what happened to... Is that what happened to to, 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 to... to... What was his name? Leroy. Yeah, what, is that what happened to Leroy? Nah, it's all a dream. Don't worry about it. Don't God. even worry about it. God damn it. What'd you do to Jenkins? <laughs> well, the same thing I did to Sonic. Traumatized him. To be fair, With that's just... <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I think it's not hard, especially throwing Sonic in the... darker side of the Sonic fandom. Oh, dear. That's, that's just the... <laughs> That series of Sonic versus Rule of, uh, 64 34. or 43. 34. <laughs> Rule 34. 34. Yeah. Okay. Did you know they're going to make another one as well? They need to stop. They and it's need about to Sonic's stop. mom. Gosh. It's weird. But I adore it because it's so weird. I don't know. But speaking know about, about Sonic. I adore it. It's a strong word. Yeah. Now it's your turn Speaking to about things that I actually adore, <laughs> the fact that we are finally going to be maneuvering our gears over to, that is correct, all, not all, most of the Sonic games in a high speed racing competition. AKA, involving, in fact, a racing game. Yeah. Okay, we can do the regular racing game. <gasps> Oh, did you know there's a modded community for the Sonic Riders game that you can do online multiplayer? Why? Fine. Be because people like the skateboarding. Okay, the first one, not the second one. The second one's ass. The second one was absolutely oh. ass. The first Sonic one. Sonic Riders hard. and Sonic Racing are on the list. I suppose. I don't even want uh, Yeah, no, that's fine. I, but yeah, I, yeah, kicking off with Sonic Mania, uh, finishing that because you gotta finish the mission, even though I don't want to because it's hell. Uh, <laughs> we have to. If we finish, the, the, if we find, if we get done with the trash, we find the treasure. And people are going to roast us for at least calling Sonic Mania trash compared to. I don't give a flying flippity wombat. 
about what people have to tell me about Sonic Mania. They can kiss every part of my derriere multiple times over. As far as I'm concerned, that game is a sadist's dream, yeah. the wettest of the variety, and I yeah. have no sympathy in my heart for slandering it and smashing it to pieces. Platforming is fine. I don't mind platforming games, Vincent. All right. Yeah. I don't mind them at all. But what that game does is cruel and unusual. And the only thing I've found to be worse than it is the Mega Man collection. So I'm going to be very honest. That's pretty much going to be. Mega okay. Man X. Just the first one There's or the entire series? The Mega Man X collection is horrible. Oh. Specifically, any bike riding segments <laughs> that require you to ride that horrible not levitating motorbike i hate it with every fiber of my feet i think i'm gonna be <laughs> honest anything that's gonna be mm. like what's coming out to sonic origins you're going to generally mm. hate them because uh. everything in mania like the the spin dash the ability to the platforming and that certain level mm. A lot of that's a homage to like the older Sonic games. Well, I've played a bit of Sonic Generation, so it's nothing new to me. I I know what to expect. I know the hell that's waiting for me, and I'm going to welcome it with open arms because, once again, past that journey, the third installment of this wonderful trilogy, starting from Sonic Mania to Generations to Forces, Forces was horrible, bad. Horrible. <laughs> Real bad. Horrible. It's... People like to like overshadow it with Sonic Boom, but I'm just gonna say it right now. You put Sonic Boom and Sonic Forces in a in like a room together, one of them <laughs> is going to die. It's horribly. Gonna, it's gonna be a bloody fight. Have you ever seen two babies with a knife? <laughs> no. Can't see him. You're about to find out in a sec. Oh gosh. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll be walking over to Sonic Mania, finishing that, because I think we're, we're, you said we're like six or four missions away from the end. Wait, let me, uh, I'm going to double check that for Sonic Mania. Please do. Uh, please do. how many lows are in Sonic and, um, Mania? Wait, what about the Sonic Mania Plus thingy? Uh, when it comes out, we'll think about it, but revisiting it with just a few more characters to pick from to do those levels again, they'll really have to sell me on it again for me to put more money in. That's fair. Um, and I'll honestly just, mm -hmm. if they make it just a, like a DLC purchase, being like, eh. maybe like two bucks at best, I would never want to spend like more than two bucks on a DLC that Now nah, you know it's like... going to be 60 bucks. <sighs> That's just Monster Hunter in general, okay? Oh, you know what I said. We give you expansion. There you $35. go. <laughs> that is not $35 last time I checked. Monster Hunter was more than oh. fucking that. Wait, no, no, Monster Hunter was more than that, but the DLC was like $35, I think. Are you sure? Wait, I'm going to double check this shit. Because I spent more than 35 <laughs> Because, yes, I, 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 I legitimately paid directly from the Steam with their grubby, grubby fucking hands. Oh, you're right. It is $40. I'm not counting taxes. Still. Oh, fuck. fuck. $40 mm -hmm. still hurt my soul. But I still want it because I'm oh. avidly enjoying Monster Hunter. If I did it, I wouldn't have spent that money. Will I spend it on the Switch yeah. version? Uh... I'll have to at least... Wait, were you looking at Rise or World? Rise. I'm not... I'm not... talking about World. Oh. Oh! I was thinking Rise for some reason. I thought you said Rise. Because I've been avidly into World. Uh, also, I just started a little bit... Oh, yeah! They were both 40 bucks. Okay. Oh, were they? Yeah. Jeez. They were both 40 bucks. So if you wanted Insanity. to go through... I mean, do you want to know the fucking Master Edition? No, but tell me. It was sixty nine ninety seven, so aka seventy bucks. You'd spend seventy fucking dollars for worlds, like equivalent to a deluxe edition with the DLC. That's stupid. Ugh, just, uh, wounds. Like, 
What the hell? Yeah, you know what's worse? You're spending 40 bucks for one new location and like three new enemies. What? I mean, they also added in technically a new functionality that changed up the, the mechanics a little. And that was like the... the that doesn't warrant $40 though. Maybe like 25 or 20 but not 40 Say that to their fucking S that like costumes over your fucking character. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you know what else that's also called? Putting mods in to change visual looks. Yeah. Yeah. But every cost that you could possibly have wasted on the DLC, you could have just got a mod for it. Yep. But you know what? What? I may dislike Capcom's choices in how they run their games. I will support mm -hmm. it so I'll allow a new one to eventually come down the line, be making it cooler and cooler. That's my only Man. hope. That's my... <laughs> I don't support it, but at the same time... Gaming with friends. Yeah, that's always going to be the issue. Especially whenever friends poke hard enough being like, Hey, what about this game? <laughs> I'm not doing it again. If it, if they put out another one that comes on either the Switch or the, the PC, and I don't see it on the PC before I see it on the Switch, I'm not getting another one again. That's fair. I'm just not doing it. Well, I would, I would say I would just rather want to finish it in the sense of, we went up to even the highest level <laughs> and like exceeded I, the triple digits. I I feel it I'm just that. not doing it. All right, period. Just not putting the money forward because I don't believe it will ever be worth it. So I'll just, if I wait, I wait and I get the PC. If I don't, I'm getting the Switch and I just don't care past that point. And wait, that's even if- Legitimate question. Future releases. Hmm. Would you be upset if they put Crystal Chronicles on PC eventually? Like a legitimate yes. port? <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> You'd be Without like, fail. I'm done with life. Let me fucking mm -hmm. just shake someone down. People would be like, hey, they finally put this this uh, Crystal Chronicles games on PC. You want No. Before they could even finish the, the question. No, no, hell no. Absolutely Shut the not. fuck up. Stop talking to me. Walk away from me. <laughs> Get out of <laughs> my house. <laughs> I'm not even in your house. You're in my house. Get out. <laughs> I know uh, what I said and I meant it. God damn it. Uh, I can't help but, yeah. but loathe that idea. I mean, just loathe the idea that these companies get away with it and then give pity to PC. If you can't emulate you it and or pity. have the intelligence. I don't call it pity, I call it their bitterness because we, we'd be here for some for some time if we talked about just how scummy these companies can be towards people that want to make their game better. Yep. For free. And yet but, they would still fail to listen to the actual like fans. It's like Twitch. Well, of course. It's like Twitch. Listen, Twitch, Sega, Capcom, Bandai Namco, they all have one thing in common. Money? They hate their consumers. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. If they wanted money, they'd, they'd make these things more accessible. They just hate their consumers <laughs> and are very free-spirited. This is also true. Money's the secondary goal. Sadism is the first. You know what's a weirder thought out of, to like, out of topic? Hmm. Why the fuck... Does uh, dead but so you know that like recently today they announced that hey we're gonna do a chapter two for Resident Evil so I'm over here mm -hmm. being like hey yo if they I end up Wesker. releasing a new killer and it ends up being Wesker I'm actually gonna throw money at Dead by Daylight I'm just saying no. I I have to it's my moral like. I would say if you gotta <laughs> do it. Yeah. Also, hi, hon. Hello. Welcome to the show. But that would mean you would have to play as Wesker at that point. Yes. You'd have to go around being the killer. I like. I would commit to that. It would be the coolest <laughs> thing. You know why? Because he's the most cheesiest fucking villain. He's a cheesy motherfucker. Oh, see, I forgot to put that at top. You know what? He'll be there in just a sec. But yeah. So they announced right, like. New content for D DBD, 
and a fucking dating sim. They put a visual okay, novel dating no, hold, sim. Hold on, hold on. Before you go into that dating sim, I before you, you even reach that that, pla uh, that platform, uh -huh. just to finish it out. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So, we'll transition. Go ahead, go ahead. The roadmap follows that we'll be doing the Sonic Mania, Sonic Generations, skipping Sonic Forces for the sake of my sanity. Okay, that's And fair instead segueing to the other uh, Sonic games like, and like. not excluding, mm -hmm. Sonic Adventure 2. Hell yes! Yes! Yep. Sorry, I'm so excited. Absolutely. I'm actually a big fan Don't of that dope. Yes. Sonic Racing. Are we gonna do Sonic Adventure Sonic 1? Riders. I don't know, because I heard that that one was kind of the, the worst one of the two. Alright, whoever said that, they're fucking stupid. I'll fight anyone that I call. It's funny. We'll try it out. It's funny. Oh, what? It's only oh, bad gosh. if you uh, if you go too crazy. You know, I'll, I'll tell you this. I will do the Big the Cat missions. Because that's the game that you play as Big the Cat. And it's just a right, it's well, just a fishing mission on those, but I like no fishing. no 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 no. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that <laughs> mission. I won't do it. I will. I will not do it. No. I will take over on Parsec and be like, "Hey yo, watch me flex as I play Big right. the Cat, and we sit there like we're doing an episode of Game I'll Grumps. let you catch Froggy. I Froggy. will let you catch Frog because I refuse. That's fine. I've seen it and I you can, refuse. You can play all the other characters. Here, here's the deal. I'll let you play all the characters that are just straight up cool and you can play as so many different characters and then i will take big the cat i will solely take big the cat <laughs> if you no, wish we gotta split them even no, no 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 you get supersonic <laughs> moments you get the cool moment keep it i don't want supersonic Tree moments we'll Tree yo them. Tree we yo split them down <laughs> the middle <laughs> okay fine but i get the bad right. ones I'll at least take the bad yeah. ones that, you know, you would be you like, scum. hell no. You just watch Shadow, you scumbag. No! Sonic Adventure- Okay, Sonic Adventure 1 never has Shadow the Hedgehog. What? Yeah! Because canonically, the introduction to Shadow the Hedgehog was in Sonic Adventure 2. And then they made a quote-unquote updated version called Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So it also adds like a game mode. So you can race people, battle people, uh, use your chows basically underground boxing. You know that's gonna be our main shtick. Underground we... chow boxing. Yes, there is. We have to allow people to bet with their with their yes! on the channel. Yes, absolutely. You know, well, because we have to train chows if we do that. Meaning, yeah, we, ha we have to have an anime montage because every okay, once you go through a mission, you will get a thing that looks like a fucking Kingdom Hearts key. Or, well, a squeaky toy key. And it will take you the Chow Garden, where you would be responsible. If you're a hero, the Chows, if you just constantly pet the shit out of them, will turn into an mm. angel. And turn extremely I... light. While if you're the villains, and you will pet them aggressively, they will turn into the demons, which are dark. <laughs> and also, you can use animals and force it upon the children and turn them to slightly... Freaks of nature that have boost. So basically, uh, X Men. What? Yeah. You'll see. No. Okay. okay. All yeah. right. You'll, you'll I'll see. just. I'll keep my my brain just kind of working towards forgetting <laughs> this until the time of. Yeah. But yeah, feel free. That's that's it for me. Feel free to go on uh, to Dead by Daylight now. You know. You know. I'm gonna probably. And the dabble. weird dating sim. You know, you and me are gonna dabble in so much Sonic. It's going to hurt. I want you aware of this. It is. Because it's also, I know. we're gonna do the mean bean machine. Yeah, but if we have to do that thing, <laughs> you're gonna be playing Sonic Colors with me. You know what? That's fair, but that's a good game, though. People can fight me. That game was cool looking. <laughs> because they at least had the updated pretty version. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do that. But I refuse right. to do Sonic and the Black Knight. That one's stupid. Actually, no, no. I can tolerate it. But I refuse to do the Red Rings. Fuck that game. The game looks stupid. <laughs> no no one can justify how Sonic is in that game. Well, I, that Sonic and the Seek of the Rings is like one. I wish game. I wish for like a thousand tissues so you can wipe your tears. No! No! <laughs> Fuck off! No! <laughs> that 
that's that story is stupid and you cannot tell me otherwise i re yeah. I mean, so is the Black Knight. Yeah. But listen, is it what we what we lack in story and riveting gameplay? It will make up for in uh, music. There we go. Yeah, game game grumps logic, where it's just like, eh. Don't you want to hear Night of the Wind and Secret of the Rings? Come on, it's great. I hate you because you're right, but that's literally the only thing that's going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What? Look, we'll even play your favorite Sonic. Sonic 06. Stop. Jota <laughs> fucking Mata. How, but how? How would we dabble because in that cursed magic? Sonic 06 is... But no Sonic. Uh, it's been redone. Yeah, no, no, no. Hell no. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. There's a level of hate myself that I'll reach before I'm just like, nah. At this point, I need I need psycho uh, psychiatric help. Um, <laughs> psycho help. Psycho mantis. Psycho mantis. But yeah, no. I mean, uh, they have the rendition, the remake of Sonic 06 that Yo, they've been working on for a while. What? Like where? Yeah. It uh, I'll 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 send it to you. Yo. Okay. I know it's a terrible game, and the story is stupid, and everything about Silver the Hedgehog's kind of a mistake. And then we're—I'm not gonna lie to you. Even if they do the remake, you're, we're probably gonna suffer with one one fight scene that we'll have to redo so many times. I mean, yeah, yeah. That that comes with the territory, though. But I like it because I'm a fucking there masochist. Uh, what is this? What is this? I'll get yeah. the programmer. Oh no. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Project 06. Sonic mm -hmm. P 06 is created on the program. No, no, da, 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 da. Is this possible to download? Yeah. Wait. My favorite Sonic and the Black Knight, and in my opinion, it had fun concepts and best OST vocal track and crush. I love you, Aiden, but I still don't do not like Sonic and the Black Knight. I cannot support it. Well, okay, no, Sonic Boom's still the, the ass among asses. Look, I just... The only reason I love Sonic and the Secret of the Rings is because of the party games. As a game by itself, it's just as bad as all the rest. But the party games are actually kind of dope. Okay, that's fair. Uh, God, fucking damn it! You know. Someone's actually commissioning the little get like little gif of Kirby doing these little squats. I would love if someone got us the one with um where it's just me and you as little Kirby's and we're doing the little squats. It'd be the cutest Every fucking day is squat. Everything would be so fucking cute. I would I'm gonna now see if that like it's possible commission now. I have doomed myself. Yeah. I have doomed myself with that adorable idea of an elf and a fucking time traveler doing squats as fucking Kirby's. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be it's already out there. It's already gonna be terrible with the Sonic 06 one. All right. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it because the Sonic Run scenes are so trash. It's gotta be great. Oh. Gonna have a good time. I'm going to suffer and cry, and I look forward to it. That's the issue. God, we are masochists. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh. But anyways, that'll be down the line. We already have full projects. I'm excited for these projects. It's gonna be a hell in a handbasket. Why? Speaking of hell. <laughs> Let's rock. Wait. Uh, fun fact: in Sonic and the Black Knight, Silver uh, takes the role of Lancelot's bastard son. Sonic Unleashed was cool too because the lead vocalist of Bowling for Soup did the main theme of Sonic Unleashed. Oh, that's cool. I think we would enjoy more of Sonic Unleashed than Sonic and the Black Knight. Other than maybe the, the silly mechanics, but yeah. But anyways, legitimately, back to well, <laughs> the topic at hand. So, uh, I think it was today, but everyone's been talking about it. Okay, unrelated to what I was actually going to say updated wise... Dead by Daylight had a fucking mobile version. And I was like, huh. Alright, well. Wish. Really? Yeah, no bullshit. And apparently, huh. 
in the Dead by Daylight mobile game, it gave the one enemy known as the Trapper, who likes to play, play spare traps, uh, a new uh, a Mori death animation. And I was like, huh. So they're willing enough to give it an animation for him, but not for the current... I mean, not for the actual PC port? Alright. Uh, so yeah, it's weird. But... We are getting a, ch a second chapter of the Resident Evil uh, DLC stuff for Dead by Daylight. Fingers mm -hmm. are crossed that I'm going to get Wesker because ever since Mercenaries, Wesker. he does have a full kit that would fit Dead by Daylight. He has a rush move that can knock people down so it's suitable to the hillbilly logic. He, well, okay, I just want him, I, I'm going to be real, I don't even give a fuck about if he had a full kit. I'm just gonna laugh if they give Wesker his like. It's going to take. It's only gonna take me five minutes. I mean, I only have five minutes. And then all you hear in the distance once he catches you is like. <laughs> I I just look forward to the memes. I look it's going to, to be memes. horrible. I, I do will too. adore it. And Good graciousness. Yes. So there's that. That introduced a new uh, killer. Who basically is uh, the box ghost, aka the locker ghost, because it can warp into mm. the locker and kill you in the locker. It's but you know what? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's it's funny. Wait, let me. Uh, because nerd and Dean were talking about it. The Dead by Daylight updated healer. And they're they're adding an additional slot for killers, so they can add one additional perk. And I'm like, huh. I mean, all right. Oh, and the new Dead by Daylight enemy is known as the Dread. Where I'll just send you the uh, I will. But, like I will for one get an image from myself and two send it uh, show it to chat and I'll send it to you directly in just a sec sucker please hold all right so he looks stupid <laughs> look no cap Loki here's your new monster I mean monster of the month known as the dread he has the ability to warp to the lockers um, you can lock him in said lockers, mm -hmm. but it only is a one-time use. So, the rest of the game, you're kind of fucked, since you can't lock him in there. But the one-time use, you can fuck him over, from what I've heard. I could be wrong, people can easily correct me about that. But I think that is a funny fucking concept, that they now have a monster specifically punishing you for at least camping in the lockers for too fucking long. I think that is a hilarious concept that they had to. And the Amori for it is fucking ridiculous. As it is an animation of it stabbing you in the back and then whacking you in the back of the head with its big fucking broken arm on the said image. And I think it's very entertaining slash funny as it sucks you whole, as it bores you. My gosh. Yep. Um... Also, not, also insert VTuber character here. Because the, the lady, I mean the survivor that comes with the lovely, lovely monster known as the Dread is Heidi, uh, Car? Ko, uh, Karu? I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. Save me. But I will at least present it right here in the images. So she is also the new survivor. I do not know anything about her other than that she is that. Um, let's see, yada yada yada. They have oh, they actually uh, from looking at it and the expansion. It's I mean the DLC is referred to as the Roots of Dread. Very edgy. Hear me. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> It's it's very interesting to the sense of it, it's it's getting something new, but at the same time mm -hmm. it's still the same shit, other than the 
killer gets one additional thing for it. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And also, uh, survivors get a new thing that also will increase speed on generator workings. So it kind of puts a greater disadvantage to, um, to players. I mean, to, uh, killers. They made something specifically to be like, oh, are you struggling as a survivor? Here, have a perk where it basically accelerates you, uh, repairing the fucking, uh, generators. And it's like, oh, I guess, fuck me then, I guess. So, the idea of balance in this game, I'm gonna be very honest, is non-existent to a game that's about surviving. And giving you little projects to to open said doors. I do not dislike Dead by Daylight, but I think some of the concept itself and these abilities are silly to me. Uh, do you have any opinions on said things? Like your locker monster that can vore you while you hide in locker? I mean... Hopefully it puts the fear factor for someone. It does, I think. Hopefully, maybe. Mm. Wait, let me see. Yeah, the Dread has the ability to teleport to any locker across the map, granting it an uh, oppressive level of mobility. Oh, impressive, but okay. And it should teleport, um, and should it teleport to a locker while survivors inside, some things are better left, to, uh, left to the imagination. Okay, so it just wars them on the inside okay um let me see yada 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 uh but yeah it's it's another one that just has a warp ability kind of like uh had a uh, sadako did too with the tvs and all he had to do was switch out the uh vhs uh cassette tape to a different one Uh, that concept's still funny to me. How do you avoid getting killed in the ring? Switch out the videotapes. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> it's simple if science. If a monster came from the TV, return it to the TV. Or to Blockbuster. It's their problem now. <laughs> oh, God. What if, they, <laughs> what if there was a parody version of that? And they, like, at that time period, Blockbuster existed. to be like, I want to return this. This isn't ours. Bye. And then run <laughs> off. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> And proceed. Like, hey, you let's take this back. Or no, no, no. Seven days. <laughs> Seven days. Bye, bye. Oh, uh, that would be horrible. Uh, but I would love it because it'd make it funnier. I'm gonna be real. A lot of horror movies can be scary, but it, it's only factoring as a jump scare factor. Is mm -hmm. still fucking funny whenever you think about it in retrospect. Ah. Uh, Oh my god. For the sake of a scare. For the sakes of a boo! You're scared now! <laughs> um. I don't really have too much two cents other than I only play Survivor. Oh, change if it play if there's a Wesker involved. I'm just saying. Other than that, I, I only like, like, Leon and Bill. Leon. That's really it. <laughs> There's no one else that actually interests me, and or if I just play the game, my mind goes, Bleh. let me let me run around and try to escape someone. Have I gotten better? Mm -hmm. Do I want to force myself to get better? No. Well, do I have fun with it? Yeah. Be interesting to see if they, uh, at some point in the future, put different game modes that allow the random characters that they throw into the game to have more of a a staying power in the sense of you know making it unique like if there's resident evil characters in there you get to fire at the killer and such and so forth as opposed to going for generators it's just a game of basically playing mercenaries and resident evil yeah oh that would be, be such a cool thing <laughs> you end up getting a perk like getting a perk kind of like in um like friday the 13th because in friday the 13th there's a mechanic in the game where you can get a gun and straight up just temporarily stun the enemy and they just get knocked down but they get back up again you, it doesn't kill but it does stun and i i adore that <gasps> all right because i think that's funny but 
Uh, I don't think there's really anything else other than the perks and possibly new inevitable uh, characters that are going to be introduced soon outside of the Dread and the new player you can play as, but yeah. All for the sake of ultra violence. Yeah, yes. I mean, it is pretty fucking brutal violence. It's fucking brutal. Nice. Uh, all right, your turn. What do you got? Yeah. So, 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 I believe it is time that we discuss and we talk about them soul lock. And Tim Tim. And Tim. Well, you know, less Tim Tim, more soul lock. Because as, as it stands right now, Tim Tim is a brand new frontier for me. I don't know if I'm going to hate the decision that I've made or enjoy the fact that I we finally found... A Pokemon game that uh, has a legitimate digital. one that doesn't have to use an emulator to fucking work around. Yeah. So uh just to clarify, for those that don't know what Temtem is, it is I'm gonna be honest. Pokemon. It's Pokemon, yeah. There's no sugarcoating. It is a online <laughs> multiplayer Pokemon that you can assist another person whenever they're doing battle with Pokemon or whenever you do bat like do battle with trainers. I have only legitimately played it for like a stream's worth whenever I was in a relationship with someone else once upon a time ago and they gave me the game and like we can play it and have fun with it. I was like, yeah. And then we eventually we first stream and then we never came back to it. <laughs> Friggin' Tim Tim. And it's not because Tim Tim was lame or anything like that. It just didn't catch our interest. Or I think we No, I made Brock. I made you a made fusion Brock? with Brock and Frisk. Yes. What the I made fuck? Brock with dreads, who looks a little like Frisk, and I I adore it. Did you name Did you name your character Sakura Dreads? Yes, yes, I did. I love it. This is the beginning of the start of Sakura, Sakura Dreads. Dreads. You've been shot somewhere by. in the far future where the humans and Tim Tim live on floating islands. There's oh. a Sakura Dreads <laughs> with his cards at the ready with his Tem Tems. God, it sounds like I'm talking about a fucking TikTok every time I talk about Temtem. I hate that I've uh, I've officially Tinchi uh, Muyo'd my my existence into the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you burp Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> you know how many people would not get that joke though. That's the sad part. It's a shame. We're hitting that like we're hitting that era of people unaware of like old old anime. Tenchi Muyo. I was just like, what is a Tenchi Muyo? Oh, you Who's that character? It just come summer out. Child. Uh, <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. It looks back to like the 2000s. Cries in the 2000s while you remember all these different animes that came and gone. And it's like, oh, you'll certainly. know, you'll know. And then someone brings up an anime about a dude that has a gun that changes elements using magic. And you cry about it. <laughs> <I'm a star. laughs> it's a shame. Uh, it probably. It's all right, Vincent. They they've just been replaced by uh, their counterparts here in the future I, of the same will. variety. <sighs> What's Tenchi Aiden? Please. Don't you lie to me. No. Don't you even. Don't Aiden you might actually not Muyo know anymore. though. I I generally believe I think Aiden doesn't know what uh, what Tenchi Muyo is. I feel like. I feel like just, no, but really, nah. Okay, Aiden, are you are you are you memeing us or are you legit? Your are big you, meme. Are you? I ha -ha feel like meme? Aiden would know. It's one of those old ones. It was like in the era of the fucking Gundam series. Yeah, but see, going back that far, and knowing that Aiden gets down with the anime as well, I just couldn't That's put true. it. I couldn't put it past him. So I need to know it. That's true. You're messing around. Legit, no one actually like. There's a percentage of people that are unaware of Tenshi Muyo. I don't, I don't know, know what it is. is. Yo, Man. we've reached the age. No. Fuck. Yep. It's oh. a pleasure. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be stepping out and I'll be stepping away, living under my rock forevermore. Oh, uh, become the hermit you've been waiting for. Uh, I've always waited for this excuse. Oh my god. So, fun fact. This is one Toonami uh, anime that made Fair it enough. under... Let's see. I got into Gundam late around... Uh, 
of round two. You know, okay, that's fair. But, 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 but what? Tenshi Munio was a tsunami, like, was one of those series that if you were in that age, you would have, nine times out of ten, have seen it around the era of tsunami. Like, it was after whenever Moldar was the actual announcer and Tom was the thing. I can't believe that. Yeah, but it was released around like 1992, so that's yep. fair. It's fine. Yeah, and, and that's fine. <laughs> it was a year. It was a year before I was born. Fuck. Fuck. Years before I was born. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what was I thinking? Oh yeah. So Tenshi Muyo is about a main character who basically ends up becoming a god. <laughs> And he mm-hmm. fucks the entire time space continuum. Yeah. That like there's no the I cannot summarize it better he than that. A pioneer for all of the Haramays that you have ever seen, if you have seen any. Every Harame started with Tinchi Muyo. Who is Moldar? Oh, I have to. I was born in 1999. Oh, you sweet so much. Okay. So <laughs> for those that are unaware of who Moldar is. Oh, this is actually going to show my age. Moldar! Uh, fucking... What was the actual show? Uh... Uh, so... The OG, before Harvey Birdman, was, uh... No, not Harvey Birdman, what the fuck? Space Ghost. Uh, so... There was, um... An old show called Space Ghost. You could probably see it on a boomerang. Uh, and one of his villains was name was Moldar. Moldar was a villain. And then they moved him over as a... As basically the announcer for... Uh, for Toonami originally. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm trying to grab an image real quick. As he, they legit gave him like a 3D model and everything. And it blew me the actual fuck away whenever I actually forgot of that Moldar was uh, the announcer and stuff like that. But, but it was like before they did the parody version of Space uh, Space Ghost, where that was called Space Ghost Coast to Coast. <laughs> and that was just the equivalent of what we're doing. Oh, here's Moldar. Chill, man. Supposed to be a bad guy. Uh, they kind of retcon that. <gasps> oh, unrelated to retcons. Oh, uh, God. They retcon mm. uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6 as canonically a part of the main storyline of Resident Evil now. Oh, Wesker's still alive. I just remember that while I was talking to, like, Nerd and Dean about it. Wait, 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 wait. So you mean... Yeah. Tell me that they've retconned yeah. Chris punching a boulder. Well, yeah. And Wesker's still alive, somewhere. But so yeah. then they have retconned yeah. part of Resident Evil Eight. Yeah. Because in Resident Evil Eight, they mentioned that Chris punched a boulder. Probably. All I know is they were talking about it in something retconning. Wait, was he the guy they gave tribute on? To... No, no, no. That's Tom. No. Tom yeah. was the main host after Moldar because, you know, why not give your own original OG character, but have it cooler? And then Tom's voice actor, mm, smooth as butter. And he was so yeah. good at motivating. Steve Blum. Steve Blum. Yeah, yeah, Steve Blum. Steve Blum. Steven Blum. Steven Blum. Um, A voice actor that many have no idea who he is, but everybody knows his voice. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tenshi Muyo. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy thing. Um, um, definitely uh, don't recommend it, Aiden, but at the same time, just for the experience, you should definitely check it out. I'll say, uh, honestly, it's rememberable in terms of animation and art. Story, no. <laughs> Story, no. It has Fuck a lot no. of variations. It's It's got many iterations of, of the story with one Tenchi that's honestly smart so and then the rest I won't tell you which one because I'll make you go through RNG roulette aka <laughs> everyone funny. else is brain dead one exception everything else is brain dead yeah 
but you know, they had to get smarter with time because they weren't allowed to make the same uh, comedy as, you know, when time progressed forward and certain things became a no-no. I when the social norms the... became different. Um, as to your statement, oh, let's see. No, I think someone someone died of EA, and they show showed Moldar. I think it could be wrong. I didn't know he was the OG Toonami host. No, 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 no. They just replaced him. They didn't. He didn't die around that time. They just legit like did in fact replace him for uh, a new voice for a tinier host. He was cool though. There was actually a, a browser <laughs> game with him too. The arrival of Tom brought with it the Prince of Tennis and Zatch Bell. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what else was there. Oh, right. We are completely deviating. But the other no, no, thing... No. <laughs> the other thing outside of Temtem is going to be a soul lock. So, the funny thing is, I have organized three different soul locks. Myself and you, Sakura. Myself and Flame Fist later down as a project, but that one's uh, for the 3DS one, so we're fine. And lastly is going to be myself. Uh, there's still a continuation that is needed between myself and Shaw, but Shaw wanted to take a break from it. So, and I have my fix. I need my soul lock. I need to co-op with someone with that game. I need. I need. Soul. Yeah. Well, my bad. No, you're fine. But yeah, no, soul lock's very fun. For those that don't know what a soul lock is, it is basically you and another person either play, you know, uh, the exact same game or completely different. Uh, because it can be completely different in the sense of like, oh, you know, Pokemon Red and Blue. What we're doing is a soul lock randomizer where we randomize things. So in each round, you know, if one person accidentally kills a Pokemon, the other person can't kill it. I mean, I can't catch in that area. So on and so forth. If you know Nuzlocke rules, same sense, but uh, the other person has to respect and also do the same thing. And since so the first Pokemon's dead, your first Pokemon's dead. Uh, if you, if you want to at least put a Pokemon in PC, then the other person has to do that. There is a special rule where you can also restrict typing that if the other person catches this respective type the other person uh the one person that doesn't have that same type cannot catch that typing it's dumb it's very dumb and i refuse to do that but very weird i, I yeah, do not mind the it. the soul lock that we'll be doing is uh pokemon coliseum I, oh to start with would we be able to do that? Because I don't think... Could we? Wow, that would actually be really Can you? Uh, not randomized, but... Because uh... if we can't randomize, you know what that means. You understand what that means, Vincent. What? Uh, we cannot randomize it. Black and white. Right! Black and white, we can do that. Black and white. Too. That one's easy. That one's easy to at least set up. I can do that. That's possible for me to set up. I'll see him now. Or doing it even weirder than that and soul locking of a fan made Pokemon game. Oh god. That would actually kind of be very yeah. fun. That we could still do the soul lock rules. Yeah. We just don't need to randomize it, but soul locking all the same is really fucking difficult. And it's you can... already jingle jangled enough. Yeah. Don't even need a randomizer. Honestly, no. Hey yo, call CM. Uh, a fully double battle game and the hardest gen 3 game you know that's fair yeah because pokemon coliseum does have its challenges and the catch rate for these pokemon are really fucking stupid <laughs> it's like no one can at me about it but it was really fucking stupid in the sense of i'ma throw at this poke no fuck you gosh darn shame Yep, but we can still go through Coliseum. I think that would still be a better experience. Because it's difficult. And different. I th and different cult. Yeah. A and hard I word to make. Different cult. Different cult. Yeah, I think, it would, I think we'd have a better impact with Coliseum even if we don't do a Nuzlocke or a Randomizer. It itself is very challenging. 
and I think we have interest. The, si the sequel, eh. Sequels, eh. In the sense of, like, different. I mean, like, challenging because it, it becomes lower tone. And then you can probably just, like, roll a, a dice for which one. Because I don't know. I now don't know which one would would be more interesting uh, a soul locking challenge. Because. Uh, yeah. They make those fan made games. Some of them are just a perpetual hell. You can randomize just Coliseum. Full on evil. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be very honest, Aiden. I would not know how to properly do that without breaking my computer first. Big bang attack? Yes. I would break my shit before we would even begin. So I'd rather Dang. stick with stuff I would know and have the confidence to do. Fair. That's randomizing the normal games and honestly i would still look forward to doing rant like soul locks with everyone that i've had previously brought up with our own respective games and whenever anyone is re retrospect i mean you know respectfully ready to do those said ones but ready for more action yeah more action more chaos but once again uh it's pretty much just leaning to the other uh, uh, playthroughs that we are going through, we're not at least going to have them on specific days, other than usually if we can get a, a Tuesday and Saturday thing. Like, for Saturdays, normally it's after we do, like, the the D&D &D stuff, depending on availabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we shall see. There will be much seeing going on. Yes. In Coliseum, you pull like you pull of catchable Pokemon is forty. Well, even then, Aiden, uh, I don't know how to properly set that up, so it would still be impossible for me to do a randomizer because a randomizer itself would be at least through the program I got, and I, uh, I don't know how to properly initiate it, so. I, I'm just simply explaining that. Um, anyways, I think that's really it for that topic. I don't know what else with that one. Is there anything else to add to that? Yeah, no, there's there's nothing else outside of a possible Nuzlocke as far as the Tim Tim is concerned. Yes. I mean, Tim Tim, I think we could. I think that would be likely. Uh, it would be Tim difficult. Tim Lock. Tim Tim Lock. God damn it. Apparently, the term Nuzlocke is actually referred to a person. And I'm like, wait, whose name is Nuz? And why does he like locks? <laughs> why is he locking my freedom away? Why is he being a bitch? Curse you, Nuz. How dare you, Nuz the Hedgehog? Oh my gosh. You know, it was funny. I was bleeding that on purpose, you fool. You monster. I'll do it again. Okay. So, I'll pop back to my side. Sakura, have you been watching anything more recently? Uh... Sort of. It's been... Uh, here and there with with watching things because usually it's whenever I don't have any of the time to do well anything else uh, as far as the things I usually do but whenever I do have the time to watch something um, it is, isn't just like an update on something that I'm looking to, forward to uh, as far as like YouTube updates then it has been uh show that honestly it's kind of it, it veers between hot garbage and actually interesting it was more so interesting in the beginning and is now veering off course towards hot garbage but i'm hoping that it picks itself back up at some point uh called altered carbon altered um, carbon what's that about yes so um as weird as it is, I think the best way to start explaining it is for you to think about 
the the headspace of Cowboy Bebop meets Cyberpunk and somewhere in the middle of that is the kind of uh who done it mystery of some you know like very old uh gumshoe type of movie just like a full on black and white gumshoe mystery murder um set all the way in the far flung future where people are immortal uh Huh. on account of this ancient technology from this strange civilization that allows people to basically digitize their souls and put them in uh, these little tablets. And uh, if ever their body was to die, they can simply uh, transfer their consciousness into a new body. And the cloning technology. Which essentially allows people with enough money to affordably live immor uh, through an immortal sort of means forever. Huh. And those who don't have said money, well, I think you can kind of guess. Well, shit. Uh, it kind of reminded me of that terrible uh, Justin Timberlake movie about time. Where uh, the more time you had, the longer you got to live, and then the less time, uh, you were basically minute to minute, almost near death. What but, the uh, fuck? Yeah, it's... It. Yeah, that was, it was a thing. But, um... I don't know, why the first thing you, like, and it was with a watch that they did the jumping, or...? What, with... The time stop? With the thing that I'm talking about? Yes. I mean, the Justin was... Timberlake thing, or the Altered Sleeve thing? Uh, Justin Timberlake thing. I think it was with a watch, yeah. Either a watch or their wrist. Something on their arm signifying how much time they had left to live. But the Alter Carbon thing has nothing to do with that. It's just like... Uh, a sense of, what do they call it, re-sleeving. So basically, you... Come to a state and point where... Uh, everybody and anybody can, at any point in time... Discard their person and uh, just swap bodies. So like, for instance, um, what was it? The protagonist, uh, or uh, yeah, I guess you could call him that, of this story. I love how you said, I guess you this... could. <laughs> it's very weird. It's very weird because of the whole body swapping thing. Um, he was a child. Uh, uh, him and his sister were kids. And after he... Uh, Things happened. I, I, in case you, you look it up and watch it, I can't spoil too much, but after a series of events, he was plucked from his childlike body and placed in the body of a fully grown man. Um, and then after a series of events happened to that particular body, 250 years later, uh, he was placed in, an, in another body of an entirely different uh, man altogether. All to what? solve the death of this billionaire dude who's basically, because of his finances, basically a god amongst men. Huh. Mm -hmm. God amongst men. Fucking another Kira. Basically. Ugh. Money. He's, he's the richy rich of the cyberpunk future. And you. he can do whatever he pleases, whenever he pleases he to do it. He can murder if he would want to. Yeah. Fuck. And the police would look the other way. What the fuck? Yeah. Hate. Just, just hate. But yeah, it's 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 a strange crime future uh, series. The one the main character of it is the same dude from the Suicide Squad movies. Oh. Uh, the uh, the guy that what was his name? like striker dude whoever like you see him through like the beginning segment as he's going to recruit all of the uh the suicide squad members that guy oh okay. I forgot what his name was it was like striker or something like that gary guy <laughs> random generic dude soldier yeah hey. yeah that guy is the main character and then um just has a lot of 
uh, actors that have not seen the light of day in a minute in it, so it was kind of interesting to see them again. Um, I would say that it's been, like I said, interesting in some segments and then just abysmal in others because uh, some segments follow the same flavor of logic as uh, things like Spartacus and all of those particular series. Because... Where they're all about... Yeah. Gratuitous violence and uh, they get so knee deep in the drama and uh, everything else of it that they forget the story has a, a place and a point. Remembering a plot line? What is this? A proper storytelling? You'd think. Some of the moments it's like, wow, this is amazing. Oh, I forgot. That's the other one Blade Runner. There's a lot of Blade Runner in it. Oh, okay. I guess that's the best way to put it then. Um, but yeah, there's the series and then there's the movie, which they took two entirely different approaches. One is fully animated and the other one is, uh, completely live action. But they went a different direction, whereas the series came before the movie. Mm -hmm. The movie is the animated one and the series is the live action one. And so the, the movie is just an animated version of what the series is. Just like a retelling of it. And it's just called Resleeved because they couldn't think of anything else original. Ah. But it fits. And yeah, I, I would say that the animated movie, which is like an hour and some change, uh, is definitely worth watching if you're you're bored and you want you're scrolling through Netflix for movies. Uh, but the series is a commitment. I've committed to it. I'm going to watch it to the end because I want to see if it ever gets better. Uh, and there's a whole second season that involves the... Um, you remember the Falcon from the Avenger movies? Yes. Yeah, he's in it. Oh! Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought he was a cool character. So... I'm just curious to see. I, I just want to see if it's uh, if it gets better, if it's if it warrants having a second season to it. Nah, probably, maybe. Who knows? But it's a Netflix series, so uh, oh, I digress. Oh, that's just either gonna a hopefully survive or b get that aftermath of what's coming, since apparently there's layoffs at Netflix. Someone's finally cracking down on the people that are just letting any movie get through. No. <laughs> Happen. I'll never forget how bad Dota, the Dota uh, series was. What's that? Oh. I was going to originally watch yeah. that. Oh. So many wonderful voice actors improperly placed in a horrible story. My heart goes out to Yuri Lowenthal because that man tried to carry that series on his back. Could not do it. Too hard. Too heavy. <laughs> he carried as hard as he could. Back cracked. That's all you heard. Him screeching in pain. As he went gently I will into say, the night. He did, uh... He did convince me that he wasn't just Ben 10 in another, uh... Another series that had nothing to do with Ben 10. He, he fully blended into his character. Dragon Knight. <laughs> Dragon Knight. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but unlike Castlevania, where it had the worst story ever, but the most amazing action I've ever seen in an animated uh, series to date, this one whoosh whoosh is the right, is the right terminology. Whoosh. It just kind of flies over your head. And if you're, if you have any particular triggers, that one pushes all of them. <laughs> Uh, every last one uh, yeah so it's a danger but hey there are some people out there that love the dota the dota movie some of them may or may not be hardcore dota fans others just there for the lore yeah that's also retconned <laughs> oh <laughs> so that's and change so like what league of legends kind of did too yeah 
Yeah. Whereas League of Legends made their stuff better because before they had no purpose and then they were given purpose. This one does the opposite and takes purpose away. Characters that you're pretty sure don't uh, meet untimely demises the way that the show conveys absolutely do. What the fuck? Mm. They made choices. They tried to Game of Thrones it. It did not work out. <laughs> hey, you want to know a funny detail of, of something that may not related to the actual topic, but it leads into an actual creator of a show? Mm. So, in Elden Ring, now you're kind of wondering, all right, everything that's associated to the whole big baddies and the gods and whatever the fuck, it all led <laughs> into giving a brief, well, like, basically, the abbreviation, I think? No, no, it's not abbreviation. Acronym for the writer of Game of Thrones. All of those people's names all led into the Nick, I mean, to, what was his name, J.J. Martin? George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah! All those guys you fought in Elden Ring, the gods, are basically a giant mm. Easter egg to reference the writer! Yeah, I saw a lot of Lord of the Rings in that. Yeah. Yeah. It was there. I thought it was I, I didn't... It was kind of enjoyable to see some of the things that were Lord of the Rings uh, oriented, and I was like, okay, that's that's kind of dope, but also... <laughs> it's Elden Ring. And yeah. I have no sympathy. <laughs> As you just put your thumb to the ground, kill it. <laughs> yes. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't know, I, I, uh... I want to say I love uh, more than I hate Elden Ring, but it's hard. It really just kind of ver yeah, it varies with what is held in high regard. Cuz Elden Ring is the most gorgeous game outside of the character creation. Um yeah. But I hate the gameplay. I can't stand the simplicity of the boss fights as far as like yourself is concerned. The bosses, yet again, they've outdone themselves with the level of shenanigans that the bosses can do from stealing your health to using blood to beat you within an inch of your life to uh, just being bigger than you and faster. Um, yeah, and then you have to either unga boonga it or go into the fucking horrific metas that people will always talk shit about. Oh, you had help? Yeah. Oh, you use magic? Oh, you use summons? Uh, 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 uh. It's like, shut the fuck up. Listen, if we can't enjoy a game uh -huh. in general, then might as well just not play a game, then. It's like, whatever. Yeah. It's like, shut but... the fuck up. You don't have the talking stick. My, 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 my thoughts and feelings on that have been pushed through time and time again. So I won't, I won't really touch that one too much more with a stick. Uh, but in that same, uh, venue, speaking of George R. R. Martin and Lord of the Rings, there was a fan made thing. Oh, it's not, it's not a long thing. It's a short film. It's like two minutes, but, uh, they reanimated the fellowship of the ring. Oh, real talk? That's cool. Yeah. And it looks dope. Like, if they fully finance this, I could see this as a full-on series. I'll link it. Yo, that looks clean as fuck, boy. Yeah, the an and the animation is dope. Uh... Honestly. I'm just gonna look at a little bit of it. Oh, that looks so nice. Let me, let me put it in the chat if anyone's interested, at least checking it out. But still, it actually looks cool. There's, okay, little details that kind of I am noticing, but that's just me being me. But outside mm. of that, f the fighting looks pretty cool. And the art style looks pretty dope. 
again, they had to condense a lot of this within the realm of two minutes. Yeah. They made him look very feminine. But you know what? That's fair. Um. Oh shit. I'll definitely check that out. Because it looks good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Alright, before I lose focus. Um. There was. Okay, so there's been a couple of shows I've been checking out. Uh. I gotta go there, actually. That I'm on and off. So the one that's currently up to date for me that I watched is a uh, Tomodachi game. I'm currently up to date with that. And uh, I continue a series because I simply have to see how it ends. So it either helps or hurts itself in that at, like aspect. So yes, it's weird because it's the main character being like, oh, you want a, wait, let me, music stopped for a second. There. But. It helps and hurts itself because it's interesting because everyone's like, oh, yes, we'll be friends forever. And then realizes every like almost everyone's a fucking scumbag in the story <laughs> being like, oh, you know, you thought you could trust your friends. You're really fucking stupid. It's it's one of those shows that I'm like, I like it for the psychological aspect, but then there's the stupid <laughs> because it grows mm. it grows it's not like there's a rabbit hole basically because you think it, oh it's very simple what it's doing in premise wise no there's a little bit more a little bit more now you're in it because it's trying to be oh so suspenseful oh plot twist here's my reason why uh, insert actions oh my god oh my god it's it's okay it's silly in my perspective but i'm okay with it that's why i'm mm -hmm. watching it okay but it's more of because i was interested in the manga i forgot how it actually ended in manga wise i read it and then i stopped for some reason and i think the manga was supposed to be ongoing but eh. i don't know if it's still going or it's done but there's that so anyways, pushing, <laughs> pushing Tomodachi game down a, a flight of stairs. The fucking bee's <laughs> knees of, of anime I've actually super enjoyed as of recent. That, like, I will always gush about as of recent. Second to, mm -hmm. like, My Dress Up Darling, because that was cute and wholesome to me, was uh, Spy X Family. I know I'm kind of hyping it up, and I'm, I apologize for anyone that's like, I'm kind of done with the hype. But for me, as a viewer, I have had fun with it because it's not serious. It's supposed to be serious, but it's not. And I adore it, especially whenever they did. You know what's enjoyable? It did one filler arc in that, like, in the series so far. Out of the six episodes it's done, it's done one filler. And that filler is really fucking good because they put money in the animation, too. And I'm like, God damn. <laughs> It only took one episode of a filler and then continue the main story. And I'm like, I appreciate that. That's actually good. And it's not even like a completely useless episode. It was super cute. Um, And I adore the characters because they at least give their own uh, personalities. Um, and just, I don't know. It, it makes me adore the show even more especially seeing this family like grow some people may see it as like not growing enough or it seems like it's uh like rushing some like the personality trait like the types but to me having what it's turning out to be is really been enjoyable and such a, a, a like uh enjoyable moment so from leaving from My Dress Up Darling to Spy X Family has been a lovely experience. And I'll say positive with how well one to the other. Uh, in my good soup, it goes into my like little box of stuff that's labeled good soup. I think 
because there's the characters Lloyd, uh, Yo uh, Lloyd, Yor, and Anya. And if everyone's seen the internet, everyone's going fucking crazy for Anya. <laughs> uh, I've never seen you. Oh, okay. You're fine. If you... I feel like I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, no, I I'm just gushing about it right now, but I I'm not gonna expose too much other than just like the pacing and opinions wise. But if I accidentally open my my big dumb mouth, that it would. But I'm not. <clears throat> I'm gonna at least if you haven't seen it, soccer. I will say, but if you don't like it, because I know you and I have slightly different opinions on some things, and I respect it. So I'll leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I'll look. I'll look it up because I'm I'm on a I'm on a kick. I'm trying to watch through a, a few things that, I, that actually caught my interest, like Orbital Children and. Oh yeah! Um, Did you actually watch that yet? Because I I need a. No, nah, I haven't yet. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that yet. I'm let, still let there's me still know. a list. I'm trying to check it twice. I know you started we'll the JoJo Netflix, series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm so I'm so pumped for Stardust Crusaders because like has going through the rest you? of it has been. It's no, I'm, I'm I haven't seen it yet. I'm just on it. We just got to that point where it's it's on that season in particular. But just like the first season, holy sheep. Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency. I... Oh. Ooh, I, if I didn't turn off my brain, I think I would think too hard about it and I wouldn't enjoy it as much as I am, but oh my goodness. It's oh just my without my brain God. attached. It's so much fun. There are huge holes and plots and all that stuff, but I don't even care. <laughs> I'm just in it. I'm all the way in it. Um... I think on the list uh, is rewatching that superhero anime, Tiger and Bunny. Oh, uh, yeah, because didn't that. they also get a new season? Yeah, where they're, they're training the new heroes. Um, Transformers War uh, Cybertron Kingdom. Um, I've never actually seen the Umbrella Academy, so I've thought about checking that out. Uh, Ultramarine Magmo, uh, Trace, and I've already mentioned the Orbital Children one, and then The Way of the House Husband. Oh, that's still so good. Wait, does that have yeah. a new season yet, or? Mm. Oh, no, yeah, it does have a season. It has the second season. Oh, and okay. I still have to, at some point, watch Arcane and uh, Knights of the Zodiac, Saint Seiya, the latest one. Isn't that the CGI one? Uh, yeah, that they did. Okay, I have to see if it was good or not. You know, that's I thought fair. Cannon Busters would be great, and I was disappointed with their ending. I was, I was super disappointed. I'm sorry. We had a lot. <laughs> had a I'm lot going sorry, on little one. They lied to me. They lied to me worse than that anime, Great Pretender, which honestly is is pretty dope. That was good, though. I loved Great Pretender. Yeah. We... <laughs> it was fun. Great it Pretender was... and that uh, that superhero or not super, super villain anime. Super villain. Where they're uh, yeah, you know the one where it's the dude who he had aspirations to be a superhero. But oh, he basically... oh yeah, 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 super, super. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me check. It's on my list on Netflix I... right now. I forget what it was called. <laughs> Su super jail super jail wait no not super jail super no, no, that's a totally different thing <laughs> no that one's a different show. <laughs> super crooks that's what it was super crooks. oh it was super it crooks. gave off so much cowboy bebop vibes for how it mm -hmm. was and i loved it oh that was so, like that was so cool but also fucking sad yeah oh uh, that and Great Pretenders. Those were two really good animations that were on Netflix. And I'm like, God Show damn. Pretenders. Oh, that was so good. I legitimately was caught off guard in terms of the story once it was reaching the end bit. Because mm -hmm. I felt like 
something something involving the main character would have happened, but it didn't. And I was like, hey, yo, okay, cool. We're, we're, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. That That's the one moment of just, thank goodness. Gosh darn it. <laughs> the relief instead of the full-blown anxiety. <laughs> So I gave my lovely friend Coconut an anxiety attack over a joke. Why? What have you done? Hey, Sakura. Hmm. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, you 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 want to know how to stop being a turn up? Uh, turn up. How to stop being a turnip? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Stop turning up. I'm leaving this call. <laughs> no, no, please! I'm, I'm leaving please, this call. come back! <laughs> no! <laughs> we don't talk about that. Kotaro lives alone yet again. <laughs> no! Actually, I like that. I watched that to the end. I can see why Glitchy's boss did not want to watch at the end, because that shit depressing. That shit is depressing! <laughs> I can only stand so many depressing animes before I'm just like, alright, I'm just done. I'm emotionally <laughs> done. No I can't tomorrow. I can't even today. You're gonna hate me, but I, I sadly live for those kind of shows. I like depressing things. Oh, gosh. Battle Tennessee was fun, especially with Jojo looking through the keyhole, peeping on his mom. That was, no, that was That's some princess weird. Player. Hype That's mess. some weird shit. I was shit. that. I wasn't here for I, it. I ain't here for, here for it. I ain't about that incest wincest bullshit. Get that out of here. That could stay outside <laughs> with the rest of the filthy degenerates. <laughs> degenerates like you need to be burned on the cross. Or what was that? What was that the right reference? I think I fucked that up. I don't remember, man. Eh, Fallout. Fallout Shmallout. Also, no, I refuse to talk about Dar- wait. Was it Darwin's Freaking game? Darwin's was? game. I mean, King's I mean game. there's a bunch of- uh, King's game, Darwin's game. They're kinda there's ass. a lot of those. I- I can't. Not because I- not because I'm, I'm, an, I'm unable to, just because I won't. I don't- I don't vibe with those animes. <laughs> it's funny because he didn't, didn't know Lisa Lisa was his mom. It's still kind of weird, my guy. I can respect the haha -ha funny, but still, goddamn. That just made him just a weird pervert, but in in the worst way because. And then he turned into a racist. Whenever he grew older, yeah. Where he was kind of just straight up saying. Well, he was already like that to begin with when he was younger with the Germans, and I... then it just kind of elevated to the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, that makes more sense now whenever I think about it since I'm older. And I'm like, <sighs> right, people associate countries' entirety because of wars. I get it, but still, mm. fuck. Can't people at least put in a different aspect of it, please? I just think it's in in entertaining that they have a character who's <laughs> racist towards Japanese and the character was made <laughs> by Japanese, Japanese. <laughs> No, I wonder what the like the writer was fucking thinking, where he's like, <laughs> "This is gonna be <laughs> funny." It's the Sony cassette player. I just the the parody and the mockery was it was high. It was high there. <laughs> you could take what? you could taste the salt, mm -hmm. purposely throwing at the actual people that mean that, that in legitimate. Just... <laughs> Set up that umbrella. Set up that whole tent. Why don't you? Wait, are you trying to watch the the one that's called Knights of the Zodiac for Sensei? Yeah, 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 the the, the CGI one. Oh, okay, okay. Just then. Yeah, I have that on my my wish list on uh d -d 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 Netflix. Yeah, cause I'm like I have to watch, but I'm saving that. That's like cake on the terrible, I'm uh, not cake, but icing on the ter terrible cake that I've been kind of wading through in Netflix series. Yeah. It's not been great. But, you know, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm gonna, getting I'm gonna slightly throw shade at an anime and I hope people don't hate me for this. I thought the introduction to Komi Can't Communicate was good, but I dislike the, the whole My Hero Academia everyone has a special quirk kind of thing. 
whenever the main character is a quote unquote nobody. So it goes back to My Hero Academia kind of logic. I generally dislike that concept in that anime. People can fight me, but I. I've never seen so I can't even stand on a platform. Yeah, okay, I won't say that much then. I just. It does that trope, and I'm like, God. Fuck in. Damn it. I, I would say, uh, to answer your question, Aiden, not particularly. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that the ones that I, I get and see, I'm like, okay, that's that's a choice they made. That's all right. <laughs> Does it but hurt the ones you? That, like, <laughs> nah. Flies over my head, or I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's that's a that's an interesting little spin on on uh, music reference, but most of it, I'm um, I'm not here. It's meant for someone. That someone isn't me. Yeah. See, I think it, I think you have to be like a certain level of mentality that you're like, ah, oh, they're doing the reference. You see, <laughs> it's the people that get super overly excited about it. It's like if you're trying to watch Family Guy and you're there for just specifically the references. Yeah, oh, In part three, my. Vanilla Ice. God damn it. See, I would say spoilers, but at that point, I don't even care. I don't even, especially now. Especially now. Remember, Aiden, Sakura has not watched all the, 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 the JoJo. Please keep... I've only just spoilers. started Stardust Crusader. Please keep certain levels of spoilers to a down low. I mean, that one, though, that's not even like a spoiler. I'm just sitting here like... Have you ever seen the Vanilla Ice movie? I... The movie that he made? No. Well, you've saved yourself a few brain cells. Okay. <laughs> just recall. a couple. My bad. Nah, you, you good. good you good. I just want to emphasize on the, the specifics on that, so... But, uh, what the fuck? What was I thinking? Um... Uh... Oh, right. What else have I been watching? Um, I think I talked about it before, but I'll say it again. The Skeleton Knight in Another World is such a Chad anime. It's like... The Paladin Knight. What? The Skeleton Paladin. I saw the manga more than I've ever watched the, the anime, so that's, all, that's how I know it. Yeah, pretty much. But it's such a Chad one that I think... It would be in this era's like the Dragon Ball Z kind of levels where if they got a good voice actor with the personality trait, it would it would literally just fit the same era of Dragon Ball Z logic. Where it's just like ha 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 Like what All Might used to be before he's like, oh I'm just now a stick. And but still didn't go with it continuously. Freaking There's an All Might. <laughs> There's that and another one that I actually like for the wrong reasons. And it's just, mm -hmm. uh, what was it? What was it? Um, uh, it is. I'm trying to look for it. Why is it not showing up? Son of a bitch. Ah, trapped. Wait, wait. Uh, don't talk. Cut. No, shut up, anime. Trapped in a dating sim. The world of Otome games is tough for mobs. I. It enjoy it because it's just a dude playing like forced to play an otome game and the game is so fucking out there where it's a mix of like it had to be a mobile suit strategy game a dating sim and just a simulator for just random bullshit and males were basically treated like garbage what the hell? Yeah, the dude apparently. So, like, I'll just give you the premise, basically. Dude, like, mm -hmm. you know, older brother was, like, pushed into at least playing an Otome game. I forgot what they called the Otome game. But, basically, the older brother was like, okay, my sister wants to at least have me finish the entire game for her. That's fine. Right. He spends literally weeks on weeks of playing through it and... He openly admits, even though he still commits to it, like a fucking Chad. God, I fucking hate this game and these characters. Because all of them are the generic, like, tropes of these male characters that some females adore and want. 
and they're all super chads. And then meanwhile, the main character is just this guy's like, man, fuck these guys. I want to beat their ass. <laughs> and it turns that he explains that like there's also like mechs, and this is like a combination between oh, if you're a dude, you're basically a slave. And it's like what? <laughs> And all all females are queens. And if you get lucky, you will at least get like you'll be able to get high like you know into a class specifically about your significant other. The, that's the premise of the game itself. And the dude finally finishes oh, it, God. and he's like, "Thank fucking God, I'm going to go eat." And he isekais himself. Because he falls down some stairs. <laughs> How to get isekai in a fucking video game 101. Play it until you can't play it no more and then just fucking fall down some stairs. Not the stairs, though. Yeah, well, because he didn't have food. For some reason, he committed it within days. Motherfucker didn't even try to eat. And he's like, I'm gonna go to the store. Falls down stairs, fucking dies like Dom. Dom! <laughs> Dude wakes up. Oh, I'm a baby. What the fuck? Because I'm going to be real. I, I'm going to just save you the trouble of that one. It's it's supposed to be stupid. But the main character ends up getting knowledge from that stupid Otome game. And he's like, you know what? Because I'm a quote-unquote mob or just like a random NPC, I'm just going to try to be rich and famous and live a chill life. Haha, <laughs> surprise, surprise! It doesn't happen and everyone treats him like trash because he, he tries to get money to to go to the like special school because his mom would have sold him off to another rich lady who was like a 40-year-old overweight lady out here. <laughs> hey, Kool-Aid! Hey, Kool-Aid! Hey, Kool-Aid! What up, Kool-Aid? I hope you're doing well, Kool-Aid. Yo. Uh -oh. Um, but what was it? Yeah, so, dude ends up finding a fucking spaceship that was hidden underground. <laughs> so that he would have enough money to be able to go to his school and not have to worry about being traded off to get, like, because his mom ended up just wanting money. <laughs> and so to at least, you know, mate with other males, she has to at least get one man to mate so that she could hopefully get a female to be able to go to academy because females are recognized as the higher class, basically. It's, it is the weirdest anime because it's a main character that looked at the outside and said, this game sucks dick. Ends up in said game, like, anime and be like, well, I'm fucked, but I'm going to try to live the best life I can in this one. And it was, it was something, man. An experience. Yes, but it's so good because there were actual mech fights, and I think it's cool because of the mech fights. I won't say too much if that curiosity eventually caves in and you want to look into it. But I gotta say, I like the character because he's an asshole with a reason. I don't know. I'm into <laughs> I'm into these characters that at least justify their actions in the sense of. I'm gonna make my fucking words with this. Oh, snarky guys are trying to at least be better than me? Fuck that. Am I trying to get something out of this? Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> it's just like, you know what? I can respect this man. I respect this man's grind. Cause he may, like, people may look at him like an asshole, but I like him <laughs> because he's an asshole. Uh, I had to do that spiel with that one uh what else what else what else what else i have not continued but i'll at least say that i did watch a little like i watched up to episode six of all of us are dead because korean horror is catching my eye and i'm like huh and that one's just a zombie one i like zombie ones for the, all the right and wrong reasons i have yet to watch kingdom but dead. I've seen Kingdom. Yeah. All of us are dead. Though. It's yeah, a more I've recent seen... one. Originally, it was a, a webtoon that's actually on uh, webtoons still. 
Uh, it's I, okay. The best and honest thing, just in case, it's what you would think The Walking Dead would be with high school students. I think is the best way to put it. But then that's also we a harder the same thing. thing. I mean, the the in ancient China one, because that's what I'm talking about. That oh. was like the the setting is zombies in ancient China. Yeah, that's Kingdom. All of us are dead. Or okay. is um, high school kids that were are stuck in like a their their high school, as almost all of Korea gets an infection. <sighs> I, I don't I don't want to bring up how because it's kind of good kind of stupid kingdom is fun yes uh and uh, any plunder fans uh I have no idea I've never seen <laughs> never seen and also uh how you doing Kool-Aid by the way I didn't I, I don't know if I asked but yeah that and I think I want to watch the one about the giant rock golems called Hellbound because that's also a web comic that's been made into a live action. I'm doing good. That yeah, good. Uh, fuck. I'm trying. But yeah. So, all of us are dead. Is like, it's good to just sit down and watch for like an. Uh, I think they're usually forty five minutes. Uh, forty five to an hour. So it's it's all right. It's not too bad but i'll at least watch because i like watching <laughs> late night good i mean late night mindless stuff while i'm playing a game mainly monster hunter because i've been on a whole monster hunter thing oh by the way just let people know uh unrelated to the topic at hand um uh, i have constructed a discord guild for those that like those that are the homies that wish to lease a venture or need assistance with adventuring in Monhun. That I have a guild uh, for friendos and stuff like that. If if you have a friend, yeah, you you can always get an invite to it and whatnot. Simply called the Azure Forest. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, basic rules. Don't be a dick. The end. <laughs> That's the end of the shameless plug. Yeah, I had to. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna like hyper, like focus on advertising. I just wanted to bring it up because it was cool. But anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, I think cool. the only other thing I've seen is Shikamori's not just a cutie. I watched like one episode, and it's cool because the main heroine's not a basic bitch. Of a female protagonist, I guess is the best way to put it. There's a lot of... I, I hate to say this. I really do, but... Unless it's like an action-oriented focus one, they kind of pee poo 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 on a, a female heroines unless it's like action-driven. There's usually, of course, minor exceptions to that. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Or have you seen different? No, I mean, uh, I feel like just in general, it feels like uh, as far as heroines and heroes come by in these stories, a lot of them face being in one category or another basic just because of how much there's not a lot of ro uh, room for originality these days because every idea has been explored. You've seen it through every spectrum um so it really just depends on the story and the strength of the character that they've created i think i hate mostly at this point in time when it comes to watching them it and it really doesn't have a gender tied to it it's just like when i see a character that has the excuse of being um new and whatever fresh element that they've been thrown into and so you're supposed to believe as the viewer that uh you know this insanely overskilled world and oversaturated with people that have been doing this for a very long time uh this particular protagonist is supposed to survive in it and the ideology is that you know 
they're not supposed to be amazing at whatever it is everybody else is doing, but you're supposed to be cheering for them as a person. But the story doesn't involve them growing as a person or doing anything different as a person or just living life as they are and not changing whatsoever. It's about the fact that they are weaker than everyone else. And that's the point of the series and that I, I can't stand it. It's right up there with uh, training montages. Not, not a fan of it. Oh, and I really? Feel like that's I thought it was more there. of like the power power kind of like animes that you'd nope. be kind of done with. Nope. I don't care too much about that because usually I, I don't really watch them anyway. And if I do, it's more than likely because they have comedy attached to them. Like Gintama. Gintama has the craziest power spectrum I have ever seen okay, in any fair. particular anime where it's way high up there, but it doesn't matter in the slightest to any of the characters because the point of the series isn't about how powerful everyone is. It's about just screwing around and finding out and just using all these various pieces and personalities and just splashing them together until they make a beautiful painting. You know, that's a Only perfect way to at least call what Gitama is in a nutshell. Gintama is just comedy and art together. And then, you know, for those people that like shonen, uh, it's that. But <laughs> it sometimes better. goes into the shonen. <laughs> mm-hmm. They they have their serious moments that, that catch you out of nowhere that they use their like comedy relief to like segue into and thus it like catches you off guard. I I appreciate that. I I think the only time I've ever been like emotionally challenged in uh an anime just like way back and like i don't know maybe it's like 2018 or 2019 was watching gintama and then there's just like moments where i was just like wow for some reason for these non-living entities that are mostly just based off of pixels i actually care quite a, uh, a bit about what just happened to them like what the hell you know what? that's fair enough that is a fair enough way to put it. Wait, did I finish? Am I up to date to Log Horizon? Damn it, now I'm gonna probably have to rewatch Log Horizon. Anyway. They do have a season two. This is true. I was trying to make sure if I watched all, all of season two. <laughs> because I remember watching season one, but I don't remember about season two. Because I was gonna say, I liked, because technically the main character was overpoweredly stupid. Where. It was because he was horizon? really small. Yeah, like the main character was yeah. powerful, but it was because he was really smart at the game. He Big was brain attack. He was Kirito without needing to be having some overpowered plot hole device ability. He was just really fucking smart in terms of a strategist. I mm. guess is a better way to put it. He, he did it better than Sword Art Online. Okay, but I'm gonna be real. Anyone can do better than sword online anyone that likes sword online i'm sorry but i'm not sorry your main character is trying to be jesus and it's stupid and stop making a harem that has incest there i threw it i threw the shade i threw the gauntlet put him it is down yeah kirito is trying to be jesus and then tries to make a fucking continuation that shouldn't be a continuation with ai's I'm sorry, it's stupid. I mean, it's out there now. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone's already know. The only exception to that statement is something witty did it better. <laughs> something, the something, I say, oh, bridge is better. Yeah, no, that's what I'm stating. I was getting ready to state that, uh, mainly. That something witty, the writers for the abridged series, did vastly better to the point where it hurts and also skip the weird incest stuff with the cousin S cousin sister whatever I ain't gonna justify what that was going on I don't want to fuck with any of that I don't I don't want to fuck Kirito basic bitch character who calls himself the black swords and meanwhile again guts looks over Holds his sword with malicious intent. The fuck you just say? <laughs> the fuck did you just say, motherfucker? Yeah. Honestly, it's it's an it's a thing. 
it's a thing that I think uh, it hits home with a lot of people in, this, in the sense of not everybody is vibing with with Kirito, except for the people who do. Except for the people who absolutely love him. I know. It's like, if I literally message Krimitz right now and said SAO is bad, he will fight me. <laughs> I kind of want to do that for shit's like do it. Pick a fight. 1v1 Final Destination. I'm doing it. I want to see how well, I like how fast he reacts. I, 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 I message him saying SAO is bad. <laughs> My, I, I, I don't try to gas, gaslight people, but, you know, there are exceptions. There are exceptions, right, Sakura? Yeah, there are exceptions to the rule. Yeah. Thanks for justifying my actions, buddy. You violent monster. <laughs> <laughs> I only provide the ma matches and pour the gas around. I let others light that fire. Mmm. You can say what you want. <laughs> but my statement doesn't change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good gracious. I th think that's really it for the shit that I'm watching right now. There might be something I'm missing, mm. like Rising the Shield Hero, but I'm gonna be honest. I I just wanna watch through it. And it's it's become a mind numb at this point that I'm just watching stuff to watch stuff. Except for like cooler stuff. Like the Devil Artemis stuff. Oh! That's one I actually can bring up. The fucking Gohan verse. Where it's so weird, but it's so enjoyable. And also, if they don't do help my man Piccolo out, I'm actually gonna fucking riot. Uh, cause did you did you watch the whole Gohan vs thing, Sakura by Dai Domodachi? No. Oh. Uh, I've seen it appear a couple of times, but I've never seen it yet. Should. Cause it, it's it's. I'll check it out. Yeah, definitely. It's it's good. It's funny. I guess is the best way to put it. It's a not supposed to be taken like anything other than, oh, I'm just here for the fight and humor. I think is the best way. And then it just glows up even further. Cause <laughs> Usually an abridge has to try really hard to not be enjoyable. Simply because the whole purpose of it is to be funny. Yeah. Oh, also, update on messaging Krim. It's about SAO bad. <laughs> He replies, why what? would you say that to me? How dare you? I will fight. Monster, Frieza. I put down, I'm just saying. You're a gosh darn monster. Wait, I'm trying to find the one where it does the Minecraft noise. Dies in Minecraft. Dies in Minecraft. When you die in Minecraft, you die, you die for real. real. Wait, what was it? I'm trying to find the one. Where is it? <laughs> Alright. We have ignition. Uh, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Alright, you know what? My jokes. My joke needs to end. Alright. Changing focus, I think. Okay. <laughs> he threatened. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I just said, just say it. I'll kill you. JK, or am I? I don't know. It's not that deep. Or is it? <laughs> Kinky? Kinky? I was so done with the two of you. <laughs> but you know what I'm not done with? Transitioning to a next subject? No, no, no. Just the upcoming games of 2022. <laughs> oh, you're right, though. Wait, what are those? Well, 
there's not a huge bunch of them because most of the good ones are coming out 2023 and i say good ones loosely i say this very loosely <laughs> do not quote me on that <laughs> what do you now, mean there's plenty i'm of very mm -mm, no nope you want another cyberpunk 2077 because this is how you get it <laughs> uh okay i'll retract my statement then I'll, 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 I'll gladly... hogwarts legacy Oh, isn't that Red gonna be Hall? like a co-op one? I believe so. It's got a lot of stuff in it, and it's, it looks very promising. Redfall, I don't really want to think about Starfield. I don't know what to expect with that, with the fact that they're kind of like holding everything back. It just seems sketchy as hell. But Sakura, um, what about the Chocobo Racing? The Chocobo Racing. Yeah, there's a Maybe. Mario Kart knockoff, but with Chocobos, but they also have pay to win Might stuff. Be good. Nope. And I lost you. And <laughs> I lost you. <laughs> I was going, I was, and then I was gone. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Avowed, first person game. Oh, it's fun. About uh,. Another game, more on like the light-handed side of things, called Stray, about a cat. That's oh, really smart. in the future, right? It was the futuristic yeah, one cat. with the cat petting. Oh, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. I know that one. I know that one. Ooh. Um, Vigilance twenty ninety nine, which is another cyberpunk game. Ooh. But again, could be hot, smelly garbage. Mm, pee pee poo poo. Um, there's still that, that Wukong game that Which hasn't one? come out yet, and, you know, the, the, the only one that's, like, the most recent thing, um, forgot what's, I gotta, I gotta look up the name again, but it's, a uh, it's a fancy fan dangling one, Wukong, what the hell was the name of it, Black Myth, that's what it was, Wukong Black Myth. Um, Dead Space Remake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually looking Wu forward Chang, to that. The Fallen uh, Gathers, which looks dope. It looks like one of those, uh, it looks like a Dark Souls game, but ah. meant more for the horror aspect than anything else. Silly crimmits. I have that. Like what you were moment. playing, what you were playing, uh, what, what the hell? The friggin' ghostwire thing right oh yeah but uh, dark souls oh silly me here you can have that back silly crimmits what are you <laughs> would you focus <laughs> i am focusing i'm just counteracting his oh you are <laughs> <laughs> and you can't drown me i've made counters oh uh, anyways good you ready yeah. Okay. So, amongst the ones that I, that I mentioned already, because there's, there's a bunch of them uh, coming out, I, I feel like I'll just kind of list them before I, I delve too deeply into them, actually. Because uh, there is a lot. But uh, another one is Crimson Desert. No relation to Black Desert. Or is it? Um, It looks dope. For a, a, a fancy little medieval game. Um, Lies of P. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I kid you not, that's the name of the... It looks dope. The no, name I, is like, dumb. I know what you're talking amazing. about. The Pinocchio You've one? You've seen Lies of P? Yes. The, the one that you play as Pinocchio and every lie uh, helps or hurts the story. And it's like a Bloodborne-esque maybe, maybe knockoff. Maybe. Yeah, yes, then yes. Yeah, then yes. You're playing as Pinocchio, and you get That's cool Pinocchio? shit. That's Pinocchio. That's Pinocchio. Crazy dope. Because apparently, lying to a certain degree helps or hurt hurts you. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy 16. Boo! Yay! <laughs> Boo! So done already. I don't care. Oh my gosh. Um, what you gonna call it? What else? Uh, the House day of before. The dead. Wait, we already played that. Kick. Yeah, that's that's. Oh, it came out and we played it. Yeah. 
Uh, um, the day before, which uh, again, I'll I'll mess around with that in just a moment. Ooh, okay. uh, wronged us, which looks weird. It, I... It's a very weird uh, yeah. horror game, but I think uh, I think it might be okay. Um, what the fuck is this? I'm looking at a list as well. One of the things that released if more it ever recently. comes out, the next Witcher game. Oh yeah! Wait, really? Oh, I didn't know they were releasing yeah. another one. Witcher four. It's if it comes out. Uh so it's still it's still up to, you know, maybe. Obviously, the elephant in the room, which is Kingdom Hearts four. But that's next year, though. That yeah, uh... but it's on the cusp of twenty twenty two. It was it was talked about in twenty twenty two. That's true, and they openly admit that they were now working on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, apparently, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More recently, they also released a Nino Kuni sequel, but it's for a mobile game, but it's also on PC, called Nino Kuni Cross Worlds. Huh. Yeah. To be fair, I never played Nino Kuni it. two. I still need to play through Nino Kuni one. <laughs> the titty oh, motor. Oh, also, let me. Let me. Gosh. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce shit to save my life. Listen, it was the greatest thing. I hate my life. <laughs> the power, the magnificence of the titty motor. The titty motor. Uh. Um, oh, Horizon Call of the Mount, like Mountain. There is the Horizon one, but I, I thought that one already came out, so I didn't mention it. No. That's no? the actual, con yeah, no, that's the next one. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, pr the current one, or like that Horizon that released was Horizon something Kingdom. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna double check. Uh, and um, Showa American Story? Forbidden West, that's what it was called. Hell is Us. Oh, which one. looks weird. Um, then there's the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Which I just, I can't really be excited about. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe when it comes out and it's really good, I'll be like, wow, this is great. I, I undersold it. But until then, uh, next on the list is Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 for any of you War space nuts. War Warhammer fans, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really care. There's Plan 8, which... Sounds dumb, but looks great. The uh, uh, Last of Us meets every futuristic sort of sci-fi game known to uh, known to man. They wear yeah. power suits and they do crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, State of Decay Three, which if what you like fuck? State of Decay One and Two, well, there's a three coming out. <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh. Mhm. Mm but yeah. I guess. Waddle Dee and into that. I just want to say first and foremost, my most uh, not hype about. I'm not hyped about it. I'm just intrigued by what they showed me in the trailer. If the game is awful, the trailer will forever stay in my mind. Is Hogwarts Legacy? It looks so good. So very good. Like, I've seen a bunch of games that have come out, and that Hogwarts one, I'm just sitting here like... I've always wanted to, like, revisit the whole Harry Potter thing, but without Harry Potter and, uh, like, a Hogwarts that isn't a school that's honestly should be torn down for how bad it is and teaching its students to be anything other than violent little monsters. Also, Hogwarts meat Legacy. Yeah, and Meat Shields. But it just... This looks good. Like... This looks like what your Wizarding Academy should be in game form. It's dope. That's all I'm saying. Like, from the gameplay to the look of it to hopefully a, a genuinely good story, this game looks like it might be fun to play. I'm the upset. The sad part is, I don't know if it'll ever be on PC. Also, I'm going to be very honest, Sakura. I'm looking at this Final Fantasy 16 gameplay. It reminds me of just 15 mechanics. Which a, one? Final Fantasy 16 just reminds me of 15 in the terms of Look, mechanics. 
I'm not going to make an excuse for Square Enix. I'm just saying it's out there. I didn't say I was hyped about it. I didn't say I was even excited about it. In fact, it was so short of an unveiling that I kind of passed by it in the same breath that it was shown. Final Fantasy 16 and the next game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Diablo 4. <laughs> nope, I passed by that right off the gate because there's nobody out here like Diablo 4. Yes, I've been waiting. After they asked if everybody had, had phones. A phones. Yeah, it was kind yeah, of a big was, fuck you like, after that. It was like, like nah. <laughs> that was a big disrespect. I'm gonna not gonna be. Also, the. It wasn't even that. It was just that that was the tall tale sign that they were switching over to making it uh, phones oh, only hello, games, Shannon, which buddy. is fine. Hello, welcome everybody from their side. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Uh, and I don't, I don't really know, Aiden. I didn't know they were making another one yet. I thought they were still riding off the coattails of the last Ratchet and Clank game that they made. Oh, but that's dope if they are. Beans. Para! Hi, Para, Para. How you doing? Um, for those that don't know who I am, my name is Vincent R. S. N. The Wandering Elf. Here to provide positive vibes and good times. Para conducted hey, raid. Welcome to the Hello party. Hello there. Hello. I hope you had a good uh, stream. How was Allison? Alice, Madness Returns. I'm doing good. That's good. I'm happy to see you, mate. Uh, and also, thank you. Thank you very much, Boogie. Um, what was it? For those that don't know what's going on, we are currently right now doing a podcast that we do every two weeks. As myself and my lovely co-host, Soccer Afro, if you ever want to check out his content, he's a very lovely individual. And he does a lot, like, and he has his own twouch. A lot of things. He does things and stuff, but mainly D&D. &D. <laughs> And beautiful voicing, and and he's majestic, but he refuses to accept my compliments. Yep. But I know. Unless I am crowned the ultimate evil, I will not accept this. <laughs> Motherfucker. The ultimate. That's why me and Kokichi were just. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had an excuse to just let it all out then and there because he was like, I vibe with this man. Other than the violent little monsters unite. That and baby gangster. You don't have to be a pussy about it. I remember. I remember how aggressive you said that. Uh memories. Fun. Oh my god. Yeah, but Insomniac Studios used to release uh Ratchet and Clank yearly like Pokemon LOL. I think they might be working on it now. Probably. Maybe. Mm. It's, I don't like that. Yeah, I think they're learning their lesson compared to Assassin's Creed, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Listen, yearly made games, if made poorly. Okay, the only thing that'll work is sports sense. games. Sports games and wrestling. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. just did. I put wrestling separate from sports. What are you going to do about? Ooh. Cry? Pee yourself? Cry? I... Pee yourself? <laughs> I mean, into... Honestly, <laughs> WWE 22K, I'm just saying. Nah. It has stuff. You know, if you if you liked all the other weird... I mean, if you like the custom matches between seeing uh, Pepsi Man versus Pepsi Winnie Man. the Pooh, then honestly, it's still a fun thing. <laughs> but if you ever wanted to play it for the sake of reliving wrestling history... You probably should walk away. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. I should get up, walk away. <laughs> uh, oh, and thank you very much for the lovely lurk. Thank you once again for being here. You're very much loved and appreciated. Have fun. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. But, but yeah, I just, I feel like going going on a bit of a tangent with uh, some of these, uh, these games that are coming out and are dated for... 2025 because let's be honest they'll, they'll keep delaying and they're going like, to push Man, they're well, going to keep pushing a lot of games <laughs> all right 2025 is going to be great <laughs> show american story actually looks interesting to me but it's only because it's going to be one of those dumb shooter adventure games where you're fighting mm. people as the heroine and i kind of yeah. live for stupid stuff like that I'm just hoping that it's funny because it looks like it's, it might be something be that's funny. built on comedy. It's it it has uh, the girl in short shorts 
Righty on mm -hmm. stilts. Do you really think it's not gonna have some level of humor? I mean, they could oh try my really God. hard to make it serious. It's gonna be Metal Gear. It's gonna try to be its new Metal Gear. Cause they have a dude with a drill dick! Gosh darn it. They have a dude with a drill for a dick. <laughs> I'm actually kind of hyped for Showa American Story. Cause it's going to oh, be stupid. Oh my god. I'm looking at Rash this. Ratchet and Clank 1 through 3 were being made before each other was finished. Like halfway before 1 was done and development 2 was being worked on and halfway through. Yeah, no, see that's what I'm saying, Aiden. That kind of game developing is just as bad as the developers that are rushed by certain companies to push out a game before it's fully developed. And it just doesn't vibe with me. I don't mind waiting 26,000 years for a game if that game, by the time that it finally comes out, is the epitome of perfection. What I mind is when a game is pumped out before it is actually a game, and then they charge you full price for a mistake. You know what? That That's isn't fun fair. and wasted everybody's time. Or whatever they did when they made the Fast and Furious game. Okay, they know what they Whatever did. they did then. They they did a thing. They did a very bad thing. But they and still laughed. Those and are got my lines. Money. They still you know, laughed and you, got money. You gotta raise your flag somewhere because otherwise <laughs> you'll it. have games like Anthem and Cyberpunk 2077 popping up all over the place. Yeah. And you don't want that. I assure you. You don't want it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, I reserve the right to feel excited about any of these things, but friggin, uh, Avowed, um, what the hell, uh, kinda strayed. I, I like the concept of stray. Um, what the hell is it? most the other game the lies of p thing now that i know it's pinocchio i'm much more invested than i was before okay but real uh, talk all right i'm not gonna lie this warhammer looking bussin it looks interesting but at the same time that's just the cinematic i want to see when the game is actually a game you know and then judge it from there because like the hell is us thing i was the same way but then i was like Wait, but what if the game is awful? <laughs> Time to wait until someone what? else plays it. Exactly. Unless, I'm gonna be real, I'm not gonna get anything that's like, oh, day one. The exception is, like, the expansion from Sunbreak, because I'm like, you know, I'm already invested. If this is good, this is good. If it's not, well, I wasted my money. Money wasted. Time spent. Also, this other game. What the fuck is this game? Plan B reminds me a mixture of, like, a uh, prototype mixed with, like, some mecha machina bullshit. Yeah. But it just has a weird name. Yeah. A very weird name. What if, what if they stuck with that? Like, it's just not, like, a code name or anything like that? It's just called Plan B. I guess we're going with You know this what's gonna happen. Yeah, I wanted to lie to myself. Mm-hmm. I know. I gotta I gotta wake you up, Samurai. This is probably what's gonna be happening. Yeah. I wanna at least have some hope. Even if it, I shouldn't. But here we are. Ew. Here we are. But yeah. Um I, think. I just feel like yeah. Yeah. That's as far as games go, I I don't I don't particularly have any other ones that I'm I'm super motivated to see them become something better than just a trailer outside of the Dead Space remake. But if you have any, feel free to, nope. to douse them over here. None? Nope. Okay. You know what I've been looking forward to? <laughs> Video projects? voice projects and kingdom hearts 4 <laughs> and okay a little bit but only because i want to make more jokes about the the reality and the unreality oh gosh 
Because you're in a reality that's not a real reality, but an unreality to a reality. Just take us away from this. Just take us away from this. <laughs> take us away from this. Gosh darn it. You know you love it. Kick. Alright. Um, let's Green with see. joy. Uh, I think that's it for that subject, so we're probably going to wind down. Uh, I do need to at least get ready to thing. bid everyone a do soon. Do to other thing. Other thing is what? Oh, 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 I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. All right, I'm gonna skip the She Hulk thing because cool new movie. She Hulk, she got a big badunk dunk made fun of the Avengers. Uh, uh, Twitch mm -hmm. did something actually cool for a lovely artist, so you can pin. Yo, favorite artist, yo, friendly artist friendos with a mark that marks them as an artist in your channel. So whenever someone runs up on your channel and they're like, hey, yo, and you know them, you can give them that little tag. It's like a little special like pin on their T-shirt being like, yo, my favorite little like you and my favorite artist. I call I like I wanted to add that as functionality. I, th I think that's cool because it's showing love to artists. Because they already have to worry about people. Like, people were angry about politics and blaming artists for the said politics. To being like, oh, you didn't, like, oh, you're voting for this insert person here? I shouldn't pay for that. It's like, whatever. It, it has the capacity to be something glorious or awful. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Those people are gloriously stupid. But, uh... Yeah! I think that's really it to it. I think it's cool functionality. Um... I don't know. I just think it's generally cool about it. Because it shows love to the homies. Um... And yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it for my subjects. <laughs> because honestly, She Hulk was alright. She got, she get the nice badonka donk. But nothing really else to talk about other than the animation seems cool. And they added that they, She Hulk and Bruce Banner are at least now associated with each other based off of the trailer. Yada, yada, yada. And Phoenix Wright logic. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's it. Uh, anything for your side, Sakura, before uh, we call it? Nah. Take it away. Alrighty then. So, apologies since we, like, we have to at least edit right here. We have at least successfully went through our normal topic subjects. I must slightly call it early due to personal matters to, to be attended to. But I do hope everyone <laughs> had fun with the lovely stream. I do very much appreciate all of you being here. Y'all are pretty dope. I don't know. I hope y'all at least know this. But I think I think y'all pretty poggers. Poggy woggies even. Please stop. <laughs> Good graciousness. Listen, I just wanted to draw this up. Anyways, y'all are amazing. Uh, I'm going to send you lovely peeps off. You too. No, you. I love these streams. Thank you. Well, if you are ever interested, always look forward that these will be re-uploaded to the YouTube. And yeah. Uh, so, we are ending this off. We're closing the curtains. We're closing the doors. We love you, but you can't stay here, so we have to at least give you maybe like a little uh, umbrella if it's raining. Or maybe like a little jacket if it's, it's too cold and you didn't dress appropriately. But we're going to have to kick you out <laughs> and send you somewhere. And, uh, 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 <gasps> ooh, I will send you to someone lovely known as Little Silver Rose as she is playing Eve. Do the simple fact that Eve is also getting a remake version. Ooh, oh, I forgot. I've come to the realization. Maybe. Possibly in the future, me, the Eve series, aka it's, just, it's literally just one RPG maker game. 
and it's just getting Fair enough. pretty enough. But, gotta send you all to her, check her out, show some love, she's actually very lovely. And, uh, yeah, I'd hope to at least catch you all once again. Hopefully, but surely hopefully. And, uh, yeah, send some positive vibes her way. And we will catch you next time. Look forward to the upload, probably either a day or two. And next Tuesday is going to be our tomfoolery day of whatever we roll next. Sakura, words of wisdom. Hmm. I think it's good to take every every bit of information that passes through your brain with a grain of salt. Second guessing is uh, not always a bad thing. Sometimes it brings clarity to certain situations in your life. A hundred percent. All right. But for now, we'll see you all next time. Peanuts. Gosh darn it. <laughs> peanuts. Friggin' peanuts.